There is a hidden aspiration in The Sims 4 and to unlock it, you want to cook at least four servings of a grilled cheese sandwich and have your Sims eat it three times in a row. And then you will get a pop-up saying that your Sim unlocked the hidden grilled cheese aspiration. And once you complete the aspiration, you will get the Melt Master reward trait that allows you to summon grilled cheese and paint grilled cheese paintings on the easel. So what inspired this whole build of mine is basically the grilled cheese chairs from base game. So there's this armchair, this outdoor armchair. Um, it kind of looks like a salon chair, I would say, like a, a barber chair, I would say, but that's just what it reminds me of. But it has like a plum bob swatch, a flamingo swatch, and plain swatches, of course. But it also comes in a grilled cheese swatch. So I decided, you know what? I need to build a home inspired by each of these items that are on this chair. So first I started off with the plum bob chair. Um, I basically made a plum bob house to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of The Sims 5 or oh my gosh The Sims 4. Not me saying The Sims 5. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, that probably hurt a lot of people. I, I'll get back into that later. Um, just because anyways, but yeah, um, the first thing I went to do was actually grab all six of the paintings that you can make with that, um, unlocked or reward chair, I guess. And yeah, um, I'm also going to use like the pink chair of the grilled cheese swatch because I thought that was fun. So I try to go for like a pink and a yellow swatch. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Not my favorite build, but it is what it is. But yeah, there's only six paintings from the grilled cheese painting option which is kind of upsetting because I don't know I wish there was more I don't really like most of them I like the simple ones to be honest with you because I feel like they're easier to be inspired by and yeah like I don't really like this home I just I, maybe it's because I not my style and I probably would never live here and right now I'm just figuring out the windows I actually used the desert luxe windows for the first time Ever. like this is my first time using them I never used them before because I just never found a use for them like I don't really I don't know I just I feel like you need to actually build something like I feel like in order for you to use that window you have to kind of build for it to be used if that makes any sense but yeah I'm thinking the person that lives here is just I guess they just sell grilled cheese sandwiches so like in the back I put like a lot of dining tables and on the balcony I put dining tables so that is pretty nice. I did give them the Home Chef Hustle sales table but I ended up putting that at the end. Actually I don't think I re record that part just because I was kind of having a hard time figuring out where it works and yeah i just i don't know but also the sims 4 released some news a couple of days ago or a few days ago for you and yeah um they released a blog post basically saying that you know the 25th anniversary is almost here and basically the sims movie is real so i'm very excited for that i don't know when it's coming out i didn't really read the blog post i pretty much watched little simsy's video on it because i didn't want to read it to be honest with you that was a little too much um it felt like a lot and yeah there's a sims movie coming out that's exciting i wonder what the plot is going to be and also they announced that Project Renee is not The Sims 5. They never said it was The Sims 5, but a lot of people assume that. Which I guess I can kind of understand because like there were these other live simulation games coming out. So they thought, oh, The Sims team, or maybe not The Sims team, but they're telling us about Project Renee because, you know, it's The Sims 5 and competition, etc. But it's... They basically said that they plan for The Sims 4 to continue on and one of the main reasons being like they don't want Sims player to start over and I think what they mean by saying that is one they don't want you to have to like rebuy all the packs basically so like if you play with occults you would probably have to buy packs over again which they probably won't even be the first packs that they would do if there was another simulation game and a lot of people on twitter are so mad about that i seen one post saying that they 
were like deleting their account or changing up their account from being like a sims account because like they're so tired of the sims 4 and now that the sims 5 is not coming out they're really done and the thing is like i feel like if you're so done with the sims 4 why are you still here why are you waiting for a new game that was never said to be a new next generation game i just i don't know because like obviously you had those feelings before this news so like why are you doing this like that's just my lookout on it like okay bye i just don't understand like i just you could have been left when you actually felt those emotions instead of waiting around i just i don't know like i feel like a lot of people wanted the sims 5 just because like the sims 4 is like old there's a lot of issues and i believe they tried to make it like um online game before it came out but then they scrapped it and then here we have the sims 4 so like the engine probably it will i would say probably but no it isn't that good and hopefully they would fix it but the thing is is like that's not gonna happen because like that's so expensive to like move it to a new engine they would have to like rewrite the whole code but it's just i feel like it would be so worth it though because if you're gonna stick to the sims 4 babe it's 10 years it's been 10 years like you have to i just don't see how they can keep on going with you know it's just i feel like you need to update the engine but like that's not gonna happen because like we all know ea is greedy for money like if they don't see a profit from it they're not gonna do it and the thing is they did say they didn't want players to start over but also like the sims 4 is selling well so that's probably has to do with it more but again i'm i never cared for the sims 5 personally and yeah so i'm not really bothered by it so yeah and then like project renee is still a thing it's just not the thing that people expected it to be i don't know exactly what it is to be honest with you i don't know if it's like a spin-off game i don't know if it's like a mobile game because they do mention a mobile game in their post but like i think it's separate from the sim or project renee oh my gosh i was gonna call it the sims 5 oh my gosh the amount of times people call project renee the sims 5 basically and it's like not oh that's just awful but yeah um yeah i just i don't know like apparently there's like supposed to be like a story based i don't know like a mobile game story mobile game something i don't really know but we'll see how that goes and also the my sim cozy collection bundle thingy i think you can pre-order it now but i believe it comes out november i don't know october i really don't know i don't know i don't i'm not gonna keep up with it because i don't have a switch which i'm i really want a switch but it's fine maybe i can get it for christmas who knows um it would be nice to have a switch but they're so expensive and i was thinking about getting like the light version just because it's cheaper and i think with the light or no is it called the light no yeah it's the light version right i think that one is just like the one where you can't share it to a screen it's like only portable but i want both i want the one that i can like also play on a screen but also on the little screen i don't know it's just it would be nice to like actually put it on a bigger screen you know and yeah i just I don't know I kind of want to get into Animal Crossing because I think it might be a game that I may like not sure but it might be I know there's like a pocket life edition I think on like the app store and I don't know it's just like I feel like mobile games and like other games on different platforms are just different so like they might not feel the same vibe but I did just download it so I'm gonna see if I like it or not but yeah I didn't talk about this build at all so I'm so sorry that I haven't mentioned anything about it but we mainly started off on the outside but now we're finally in the kitchen and we're pretty much probably done with the kitchen because I talked my way through it which is kind of sad but I'm getting a cork board and then I wanted to get like a little menu board to put above the stove even though I think they only sell grilled cheese sandwiches because I don't know it's a grilled cheese house like I feel like that's the only thing you sell right it only fits it fits I also want to mention I always mention this like when I get like a new mic but I got a new mic 
I don't want to jinx it. I feel like every time I mention it, but it should be fine because this one, I'm just going to say it was very expensive. So it better work. I'm just going to have to figure it out. <laughs> I guess like mess around with some stuff. And I will say I had my suspicions about OBS and like the noise suppression, which I probably should still have my suspicions by, but I'm going to try it again. Okay, here's the thing. I had a suggestion. I watched like a bunch of videos basically um, telling me what to use. Some of them like required plugins, which I'm just, I don't think that's going to, I don't know. It probably will help. It's just like kind of stressful because like it's just like a lot of testing goes into it to make sure it sounds the way you want it to sound. Like it's pretty much, it's just a lot. I don't know if I can handle that at the moment. But yeah, I'm using noise suppression again. There's two options, R and noise. And then there's this Seeks, I don't know, S-P-E-E-X option. So the R and in noise uses more CPU, whereas the Speaks version uses less CPU. And also it's just like a worse quality one, whereas the R and noise one is pretty good. But I watched a video and someone said that that's causing like clipping issues and I wonder like does clipping issues like does that mean like distorting because I used to have like a distortion issue not that it would ruin my whole audio but like when I said like a word or something it would just like mess up that audio a little bit like or that one word I said a little bit like I I don't know I don't know how to explain it but like yeah it's just is that what that means <laughs> I hope it's not happening because I am using it right now. This is like my fourth time or third time doing this voiceover. And the reason is because with the speak selection, it made my voice sound muffled. Like, like it sounded so muffled and I'm like, oh my gosh, I sound awful. That does not sound good at all. Um, so hopefully I, hopefully it's okay. I hope. I think, I don't know. I think they said it happens if you get too loud. And the thing is, I'm not really a loud person. Like, I literally do not speak that loud. Like, when I'm speaking right now, it's only at the green level. It's not even at orange. So hopefully that's not an issue. But for the inside, I was trying to go for that same yellow and pink color. I want to call it magenta, but look, I don't know my shades. I don't know my exact colors. Like, I'm not doing all that okay like it's close to magenta right it, like it's pretty close hopefully i don't know like again like i don't want to be like oh this is magenta and be wrong but yeah um did i speak about the base game update that come out wednesday because i don't think i did um that is so crazy but they did give us a big update um they basically gave us arches for medium and tall wall height and for small wall height i think there's like a wider version they gave us like a new sliding door in base game that is like taller so like on the small wall height there's a taller version of like the shorter one i don't know if that makes any sense but there's like only one sliding door in base game so i don't think it's that hard to know what i'm talking about but yeah now we have two sliding doors for the small wall height they're the same ones but the new one is a little bit taller it's not so short and they gave us new colors to go with it which is kind of nice because the color of the knob is not my favorite like it just i want it to be silver and it isn't silver but there's a new swatch that is white and it is silver so that is pretty good to me and they also gave us new swatches for like clutter fences like the freaking cupcake machine a couch a chair i would show you i was i'm not gonna lie to you i basically procrastinated with my schoolwork and i went to record a video but then i was like this is so like it's all over the place like the whole video is kind of all over the place so i was like yeah this is a bad idea and i basically spent like one hour doing that just to be like no i'm good it's okay it's fine like it's fine i just don't record videos like that so it's just like i felt like it was all over the place so i didn't want to like post it um so yeah i'm very sorry about that but there's a lot of videos like a lot of people post about the new sims update and yeah we're working on the entranceway i just got finished with the dining room 
um i don't know this is such a weird house i don't expect anyone to download this because it's weird but i do feel like the magenta maybe i don't know the pink and the yellow does work kind of like weirdly it works together which i was not expecting i thought it wouldn't look so good at first but it kind of does like i really like it but we should be moving on to the teenagers room pretty soon they got the colorful grilled cheese art um our painting i guess and i wanted to use streamers i didn't want to use streamers i actually wanted to use like those led strings but I felt like the streamers fit it more just because they're in multiple colors and I also went for the boat wallpaper for some reason. I don't know why I went for that. Um, I never use it. I barely use it so maybe that's why I chose to use it. Um, but yeah, like this is such a weird house. So there's two bedrooms. I did cut out the bathroom because this video for some reason took me so long. I don't know why it took me so long but it did unfortunately. And that really sucks, but yeah, um, anyways, you know how I mentioned I got a new mic? So the mic that I got is an Elgato one. It's the Wave DX, the dynamic mic. Very expensive. Let me tell you something. The way they will get you with this stuff is kind of insane. So like, technically, the mic and the XLR cable, um, and the mount and the audio interface or whatever is all sold separately so basically you have to buy four things in order for it to work i will say it does come in like a bundle like even the mic and just the cord comes in a bundle but at the same time if i were to just buy that i would just have nothing to put the mic on because it doesn't come with the stand like it doesn't know like it's kind of insane and silly me at first i was like do i really need the wave i don't even know what it's called basically the audio interface but i didn't get the elgato one just because like that's expensive and my thought was i don't need that um it's too expensive i'll save money by not getting that and the thing is you need it because the xlr cable is not a usb cable it's a different thingy so you do need an audio interface I ended up getting a cheaper one for $40 because it was on sale, luckily. So that was good. But yeah, it's just, they really get you. Like, it was so expensive. I kind of do wish I did get the Elgato audio interface just because, or I think it's just called like the mixer. I don't really know. I don't know this stuff. But I really do wish I got it. That way I could have used like the Wavelink, I think it's called. <laughs> Basically an app. But I don't know, it's fine. It's just like you have to have like the mixer in order for that app to work. Like having the mic is not enough, unfortunately. But it's fine. It's all good. It's probably nothing special. I probably I'm probably not missing anything, right? But yeah, like they really get you. Like buying it like I just I feel like they should just sell it in the bundle and nothing else. Well no, I guess it's good that they sell it separately so you can like buy it cheaper. Um, from a different brand if you have to because like this stuff is very expensive but yeah also I guess I could have got it from the Facebook marketplace because after I ordered the audio interface um, I got the Fafine one I don't know how you say that but I went to like the Facebook marketplace because I was kind of curious like are they selling it on there and then I found one for like $95 or $50 I think honestly that's so cheap because they sell it for 160 which is kind of insane but like $90 $60 is way better than paying full price um so I kind of wish I looked on Facebook marketplace because like honestly what could be so wrong about like surely it's not broken in any kind of way right like how would you do that um anyways we're working on the main bedroom now and I first used the vintage glamour bed but I changed it out for the one from Lovestruck because it looks so much better. Um, so much better. I like it a lot. And yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, this bedroom is pretty simple and honestly, at least for me, the packs, the kits come out tomorrow so I'm very excited to like, um, see what they hold. <laughs> I don't really make overview videos, but I'm going to try to. But the thing with that is I already have a video scheduled for tomorrow and it's kind of exciting one because it's me celebrating reaching 900 subscribers. 
um so yeah that was fun to make um so i don't know like i feel like posting two videos like close together is probably a bad idea and also like i feel like a lot of people are probably going to be very excited about the kids so like is that video even good like should i post it on that day i'm going to do it anyways because it will be fine but i don't know like could i make a short on it the thing is is like i could make a short on it but on youtube it can only be one minute long and is that enough time i'll probably have to do two shorts for each kit or i could just do a full video like i don't see the harm in posting two videos they might be close together which sucks also like the video i'm posting is going to be premiering which i never done before but i was like why not i don't think i hate to say it but i don't think anyone is going to watch it like live it's not live but like as it's premiering i don't think anyone is gonna watch it but we're moving on to the hallway i just put like a desk in here i had the two um other grilled cheese sandwiches posters or paintings in here as well and also one thing about this desk from lovestruck is that it it just like the keyboard hangs off so i had to get another desk size it down and put it where i want it to go and the desk I chose to use to size down was like the one from high school years, like the community desk, I guess, the student desk. And it has like holes, not holes, but like dots on the floor. So I had to like choose a different desk because that one just wasn't working. The shadows were weird on that one, I guess. And yeah, not too long from now, we should be going back to the outside to finish up the landscaping, add some more stuff to the back area. They do have a pool. I don't think the customers are allowed in the pool just because that would be weird, but we all know The Sims 4. Like, they're going to do that. And honestly, also with this update, they re- they re- I don't even know what I'm saying, but they unrolled. I don't know how to word it, but basically now- um, DX11 has officially, um, made it to the game, I guess, and you can switch back to DX9 through the game options if you want to, like, the settings if you want to, and then also, like, if you are on an older computer, um, it will just stay on DX9, um, but yeah, like, usually when you open the game, like, it will be DX11 unless you go to the settings to switch it. So, luckily, I know when they first, like, did it, like, when they allowed you to do it yourself, I knew, like, it made photos with filters black. And luckily, I did go into game and that's not an issue, so that is so good. I was kind of worried about that because, like, photos are very important to me. Like, I need my photos. Like, that's all I want are my photos. And I will say, like, one thing about updating right away is just, like, like, my mods are probably broken. I would love to jump into my game, but, like, my mods are probably broken now that I'm thinking about it. But, like, I don't know. Like, surely they'll get fixed pretty soon. Usually, they are fast about them. Like, I only use MC Command Center UI cheats. I do use, like, the birth mod from Panda Sama. I don't really know. I think that's the name, right? Um, I don't think that one would be broken. Um, but, yeah, like... Usually MC Command Center and UI Cheats gets updated pretty quickly and that's probably the only thing that I have that is broken. I also have like the Plant Sim mod. I don't think that would be broken but we'll, we shall see, right? We shall see. But we're at the end of the video. I'm just finishing up the pool area. I got a drink tray. I'm getting some tiles in the pool and I'm adding more landscaping to the back area. And yeah, that's the full video. I'm going to jump into game now and give you guys a tour. So here's a look at the grilled cheese home. So out in the front, we just have a sign, of course, to like tell you, I guess, where to go. But if we start on the inside, we walk into this entrance ready they just put their phones down they have a bookcase pretty simple in here they have their nice little living room with their record player this is their dining room yeah i just put like some grilled cheese paintings on the wall this one has flamingos which is cool and also i wish they had more grilled cheese paintings 
I feel like six is not enough, but this is like their kitchen space, which is nice. Pretty small for what they're doing, but hopefully it works. Um, oh, I did not clutter this up. I don't know. I felt like I tried to keep it very simple with this build. And then this is the teenager's room. So they have a nice little laptop. They have their penguin TV. But yeah, I wanted their room to be very colorful just because like this girl cheese painting is kind of colorful. And then when we walk upstairs, we have a bookshelf. This is the bathroom that I cut out pretty simple. And then this is like the little desk area. We have a thermostat right here. And then this is the parents' bedroom. Pretty nice. And yeah, they have a nice TV, an ottoman, and a mirror. And then if we walk outside, over here is the stand where they sell their goods. Are their grilled cheese sandwiches? And then yeah, we have like a nice little seating area for the customers. And they could also, you know, sit up here on the balcony, which is nice. I have a grill and we have a pool area with lounge chairs very pretty and also these are not actual chairs like they don't snap they're just like an armchair unfortunately so yeah that is the full build and it's worth 82,083 simoleons and obviously this was not pack limited but if you want to download it it is on my gallery at sims delicious if you like this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys soon bye